<laughs> You're going to keep on flying, aren't you? Well, you never stop flying. If a wing falls off, you don't stop flying. You fly the other wing, right? You don't ever stop. When you start something, you see it through all the way. Good, bad, or indifferent, you see it through. You keep flying. You keep doing what you're doing. Okay? That's how you survive. It's when you give up that you don't. So you always keep flying. This airplane, if you take the propeller off of it, if that flew off while you were in the air, that airplane would keep on flying. It doesn't know it doesn't have a propeller. That airplane will do just about everything without a propeller that you can do with that airplane with a propeller. You just can't go as far. They keep flying beautifully. See, if you watch the movies, they fall out of the sky, but airplanes don't really fall out of the sky. How about that? You guys are something else. Go to question number two. When an aircraft enters a straight ahead stall, you can break the stall by doing one with the controls. Somebody has an answer. What do you think? You don't have to push forward or release back pressure. So the book says this. Exactly what the book says. I'm going to turn that around on you. Is that okay? You want me to tell you why? What makes an airplane fly? <coughs> what makes an airplane fly? Pressure. Um, <coughs> Lift. Lift. And you can say, get your chin up, take your hands away so we can hear you. Wait a second. Lift. Lift. Very good. That's what does it, isn't it? Here's what's happening with the airplane. We'll draw a picture. If we go out to the aircraft and we stand at the tip of the wing and we look down the wing, when we look at this tip, we're seeing a certain shape, aren't we? Yeah. You look like that? Yeah. Where'd that come from? Where'd the idea for that shape come from? Um, uh, a, a bird with a curve. Who made the observation first? Uh, the Wright brothers. What did they do? They had the best job in town. What did they do? They, they went out and laid on the beach and they watched the birds flying around, didn't they? Yeah. Literally, that's what they did. They didn't have all the scientific equipment we have today, wind tunnels or any of that kind of stuff. They went out, they laid on the beach and they watched birds flying around. What did they notice about different birds? Some use their wings to flap and some uh, soar. Like hummingbirds, you can't see their wings, can you? How about seagulls? Can you see their wings? Yes. Oh yeah, they hardly ever move. They just put them out there and just glide. The Wright brothers watched those birds flying around. They decided that maybe the shape of that bird's wing had something to do with them being able to glide. And they were right on. They didn't know it at the time, but they were right on. So what's happening with this shape that they came up with? Well, if we take this wing and move it through the air and let you see the air flowing over the wing, it would look something like this. Exaggerated for your benefit. The air going underneath the wing creates a certain amount of lift, doesn't it? Sure it does. Who said pressure? About a quarter of the lift comes from the air flowing underneath the wing. What does that mean? That means that the air that's going over the top is doing all the work. The air flowing over the top is doing all the work. 